Okay, so Pi News episode 25. I've just ordered a Mayflash W10 Dolphin Bar to use with my Pi 4. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm interested to see what systems and what works on it. I've got my Lego Wii Remote and I've got my uh, gun adapter. I love the Wii gun games that run and uh, hopefully we can get those running on the Pi. Let me know if you've had something similar running on your Pi or what systems you think are the best or what gun games are best. But let's switch into screen capture to do the rest of the news. Okay, so next up uh, we have this very nice looking handheld system which is based on a Pi Zero. And it says in here uh, it's based on the Null 2. Uh, and if we Google it, here we go, Null 2. And this gives you all the details of the kit. So you can see all the little bits that come with it. You can see the Pi Zero on the right hand side there. Battery, all the controller pads. Really interesting, really nice to see uh, in such detail. But the next one up uh, is based on a Pi 4. I have been impressed what you can run on a Pi Zero and RetroPie runs really well in it. I've been trying out Diet RetroPie and there'll be a video soon on that. But uh, a Pi 4 definitely will let you get better games running and uh, more modern systems. So it's nice to have both. Obviously the Pi Zero is very tiny, uses very tiny amounts of battery, so there's a real plus point to that. But this Pi 4 uh, handheld gaming console looks really cool and the finish on it looks, it just looks professional. You can see it's running, I guess that's Consta Kang's version of Android, and uh, which is a very good version and games actually run pretty decent on that as well. There is a video on there, I won't play that, but uh, I'll put a link to it in the description. Hi guys, I made an open source Raspberry Pi 4 handheld for a uni project. Well, I hope they did well on it because the finish looks incredible. And to think there's a Pi 4 in there. I'd love to see more, more detailed pictures. I don't think there are. Oh, there you go. More pictures can be found out. So if I click on that, uh, here we go. Look. So you can see the Pi 4 in there. I like the finish on this, obviously 3D printed. And the controllers that clip on. You've got those buttons, accessible. Looks like the USB is accessible, which is nice to have as well if you wanted to add more games or things like that. Yeah, yeah, looks very, very nice. So next up is an update. So Raspberry Pi 4 bootloader EEPROM release. And uh, this version is 19th of April. So it's quite a recent one, but loads of things have changed. Lots of things have been added. Uh, so if you've been having problem with booting, then hopefully this will sort that out. Skip rendering of HDMI diagnostics display for the first eight seconds unless an error occurs. So that will mean the boot up should be quicker. Avoid USB MSD timeout if there is only one device. So if you want to apply that uh, update, all you do is open a terminal and uh, you would do sudo raspi-config and go into advanced options, bootloader version and latest and yes. And OK. Now I'm not going to reboot this at the moment, I'm going to carry on Pi News and reboot it at the end, but after you reboot, that should apply that latest update, so you get all those fixes. Next up, I did a video recently on Ubuntu Budgie, uh, it was in beta at that point, and uh, it still ran really well, but it is officially released now, so as from April the 19th, and it was thanks to Football Tech for letting me know about this. I think the comment was deleted, uh, but I've still got it in my emails. Um, because anything with a link tends to just be taken off YouTube without me seeing it. But luckily on most of them I get an email to let me know. I was really impressed with it in my video, so uh, the fact that it's out of beta now is great and obviously I need to revisit that. And last up is uh, Recall Box. I got contacted by Fabrice from the Recall Box team and uh, version 7.2 is coming out. Now there's loads of details they've given me in an email, but they want to hold out until the proper release date, which is only tomorrow anyway. Uh, so I'm not gonna give away any details of it, but just to let you know to look out for it. And uh, it will be available, so Recall Box, Friday the 23rd of April. Big update is coming with lots of new features and new emulators. And it's 7 p.m. UTC time and 8 p.m. in the UK. But uh, I was really impressed with it the last three times that I've tried it, but it was in beta before. Uh, 7.01 was a final release and worked really well. The PlayStation emulator was excellent on it. but there's big things coming in 7.2, so look out for that. Anyway, I hope you like this. Hope it helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Nearly forgot to apply that update, so let's minimize this. Call back at the terminal, and uh, all you do is go down to finish, and then it will give you the option of reboot, and I'll say yes.